Okay, so we are actually in Clockwork City right now, and I have picked up a quest yesterday called Morsels and Pecks. Okay, this is from the crow that sits on top of the post behind me. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you where to get these materials so it takes no time at all. Um, we have to get two elemental essence, three supple roots, and three ectoplasm. Okay, so I'm going to show you where to get these quickly so that these quests don't take so long. Maybe even if possible that we can get a motif from here. Okay, so let's take a look here. Uh, we'll make sure the uh, quest is active. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we are going to go to Reaper's March. And there is an area called Willow's Grove. Uh, this These quests you don't have to do inside of Clockwork City. And for anybody who doesn't really know how to get to Clockwork City, maybe you've never had the DLC. So if I'm in Tamriel here, anywhere else, I just hold back and I zoom out all the way out. Come down to this one here, zoom all the way in. And now this is a Clockwork City. So like, we're going to, what did I say before, Reaper's March. Okay, so let's zoom into Reaper's March. Now the Willow Grove Way Shrine is here. And we're actually going to be running back here to this area here. This is where we're going to find the Atronox that we need to get this uh, Elemental Essence. So I'll see you there. Okay, so we are in Reaper's March now. Uh, we need to get back here in this area here, I believe is where it is. So we'll put a waypoint there. And we're just going to run over there real quick. Now this area can be a little hectic if you're low level. Because if you accidentally get too many on you at one time, they will kill you. And this build that I have is not a build that's you know, really combat ready. He can't fight his way out of some stuff, but so we're going to try to pick him off one at a time here. Especially the frost. They're really tough on a low level build. All right, so we're going to have to fight here for a second. So we're going to drop some AOE first. We're just going to get in here and then we're just going to start crushing. Okay, so we've got two elemental essences, and that is all we need from them. So we can now leave this area. Let's get out of here. Go back to the way shrine. Let's put a marker on it so we can get there quickly. Hopefully it doesn't make me swim there. Oh, we got some tigers. Stay away from them. Alright, so we're going to get the next thing. Let me go up the stairs. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Glenumbra uh, Dillon's Mill to collect our three supple roots. Okay, and that is located right here. So we'll go ahead and jump. All right, and once we arrive here, we actually want to go in the direction of uh, the Lynn's Mill. I guess that's how you say it. We want to go in that direction. And what we're looking for, I believe down here, we have a couple that are already right here. We're looking for these guys, the Spriggans. These are the ones that'll give it. So let's drop some AOE. Hopefully we'll get our stuff that we need. Okay, nothing dropped. Let's find some more spriggans here. I believe there's some up here. So we need three of these, if I recall correctly. Going back into my AOE, they both start chasing me. Oh, there was a spider there too. All right, so we got one supple root. We still need two more. Try to stay away from the. Uh, there's a couple more. Arrow. Oh. Okay, 
Okay. And we picked up our supple roots. So now we need to get the ectoplasm. Stay away from this guy. And the ectoplasm we are going to get is going to be over in Stone Falls at uh, Devon's Watch. Okay, so we go all the way over to Stone Falls. And we find the Way Shrine here. Okay. All right, so we come away from the Way Shrine. Run right down here to this little section here. And these ghosts should actually attack me immediately, I believe, because I've never done the quest here. So we're going to go ahead and start shooting some up here. Okay, it's not yellow, so we're going to have to spend some more time. Go over here. Give me anything, this one here. Nothing. Okay, there we go, we got an ectoplasm. And that is one of our items that we need to create the invisibility potion. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Okay, so we're going to get these two here. Block that. Okay. And we got them all, so we can run out of here. Go back to Clockwork City. Go to the Brass Fortress, Fortress, wait. All right, we are inside the Brass Fortress. We're gonna drop this quest off. There he is on top of the pole. The light. For this land of and we get a crow-touched clockwork coffer and 332 gold. So let's take a look and see what we got in the coffer. So we got a live wire bow. Uh, this might go, you know, probably between two and eight thousand gold, and this is for crafting in the Evan Evan Shadow style. And that's it. We did that in what less than ten minutes. If we take out the loading times, you can run that quest probably, you know, five or six minutes with the help that I gave you with the map. All right, that's it. I'll see you on the next tutorial.